Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple sports poster design as always in Photoshop. If you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe my channel. And also I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for showing their love and support on my Patreon. And with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard. So for that, go to File, click on New. And I'll just go with 4x5 uh, resolution to 300 color mode to RGB. Let's change the bitrate to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on to 8. And then right after that, uh, let's uh, well, let's drag and uh, drop uh, this background image right over here. And let's make it a little bigger, Control G. Yeah, let's keep it maybe something like this size. And then let's uh, drag and drop this graph image right over here and let's make it a little bigger too, Control T. And then let's keep it maybe, maybe something like this size. And let's change it to multiply. Yep, let's keep it like that. And then let's go for another image, so let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's go for this one. Actually, you know what? I already made the selection and to make this selection is pretty easy. Let's deselect it, Control G. And it's very simple. Go to select and let's click on select uh, subject. And then from here, just add a selection where you want to add the selection on your list. So I just need like a few portion of this image. So I'll just make it really rough, something like that. And then let's include those part or maybe this one too. And let's click on uh, create selection and let's select this layer. Go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter. And from here, let's increase the clarity just like so. And then let's drop down the saturation to minus 100 and let's drop down the highlights. Let's increase the shadow some more and maybe increase the textures to maybe something like that. And let's click on okay and right after that let's drag and drop this uh, image cut out right over here so i just want to give a kind of retro vibe on this look so let's make it a little smaller Control t and then maybe let's keep it let's let's keep it maybe right over here or maybe just add some rotation or maybe let's add some skew Yep, just like that. And then let's go for another image. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, let's go for this one and let's drag and drop right over here. And for this one too, let's apply the same camera raw filter. Yep, and let's change the blending mode to we'll multiply and let's keep it under this layer. And Control T, let's make it a little smaller and let's. And let's keep it right over here. Yep, let's keep it something like that. And let's go for another image. Uh, let's go for this one. And I did the same thing to make this selection. It's pretty simple. Go to select and select subject. That's what I did. And select this layer, go to filter, and let's go to camera raw filter. And from this image, I want to keep that red part and make other the desaturated so let's go to color mixer and from the saturation tab let's keep the red as it is and let's drop down the saturation for other colors so just like so and maybe let's increase a little more for red yep just like that and let's go to the basic tab and let's increase the clarity maybe some more texture drop down the highlights and maybe let's increase the shadow just like so and let's maybe increase the contrast too. Yep, let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. And I can see like there are like some red spill on his face. So I just want to uh, make it clean. So let's make a copy, Control J. And let's go to Image, Adjustment, Hue and Saturation. And let's make the saturation all the way to minus 100 and let's click OK. Now let's convert it as a smart object and again create a layer max let's fill the max with black right and let's go to brush 
and then let's make sure the color is white and then let's uh, paint those black and white part back just like so or you know what before that let's go for a soft round brush yep just like so Yep, let's keep it like that and let's uh, merge this layer, Ctrl Shift Alt and E, so I have everything in one layer. So let's drag and drop this right over here and let's keep it on very top. Let's convert it as smart object, Ctrl T, let's make it a little smaller, just like so. And then let's go to Paint Tool and let's draw a shape, so let's uh, click on Shape. And then I'll just get make a rock shape. And again, it doesn't has to be perfect. And let's keep it under this layer and let's make sure the color is kind of similar red. Or yeah, I'll just go for kind of this red and let's click on OK. And then let's drag and drop another image. So this one, this one, let's drag and drop right over here let's keep it all the way to the top and let's go to filter and let's apply the same camera filter that we applied for this image and then let's go to the brush uh, let's make sure the color is white and let's get uh, some of these parts back Is this one back just like so uh, and let's make a the copy of this texture here Control J and let's keep it all the way to the top and again let's change the blending mode to oh, multiply and let's make a copy of this uh, background texture layer Control J and let's keep it all the way to the top and let's change the blending mode to linear burn and let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere around here right and then let's drag and drop this green texture on very top let's change the blending mode to screen or let's yep let's make it at the screen Control T let's make it smaller add some rotation yep Let's keep it just like so and then again let's make a copy of that grid image Control J and let's keep it on top Control T and let's move keep some of these parts right over here let's make a one more copy Control J and then Control T let's keep this maybe somewhere around here now let's do a final color touch up so for that go over here add a color lookup and i'll just go with my favorite lut that is mood lut so click on load and i'll just click on this one and click on load and then let's go to the layers let's add a curve on the bottom and then let's add Let's lift a shadow a little up. Yep. Just like so. Maybe it's a little too darker. Yep. And maybe let's drop down the opacity for this lot. Maybe around 66 looks good to me. So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.